presuppositions when you read the Bible. You know, some people just read the Bible to find fault, not to be built up. When you give them all of them, say, but what about, what about, those are illiterates. Illiterates are always about what about, because they're always about. Now, there are more than 25,000 archaeological digs directed directly to the subject matter of the Bible. Over 25,000 archaeological digs. Not one of them have contradicted anything we have in the Bible. Over 25,000 archaeological digs. None has contradicted the Bible. And the overwhelming majority of them have confirmed and affirmed what we have in the Bible. But here's what is interesting. When you find something in the Bible a thousand times over, they still try to argue. Then they find evidence in archaeological digs, and then when they discover it is not a contradiction, they apologize. Then they look for another one. When they discover it is not, they apologize. Over 25,000 archaeological digs. What we find here on this text, about 301 eyewitnesses of his resurrection, who were still alive when 1 Corinthians was written. This is important because that means the message of the Bible is falsifiable. The message of the Bible is falsifiable. Did you hear that English? Is falsifiable. This is important when you are testing the veracity of the claim. When somebody is making a claim, that claim can't be falsified. That means you can't test the claim. It's not a very strong claim. Any claim that you cannot falsify is not a strong claim if you can't test it. It means I just have to trust what you say. You know, it's like a vision. You know I saw a vision, I saw the cloud. You see, clouds from where? I saw. Just believe me. You can prove it, you can check it. But the Bible is not like that. But those claims were falsifiable when Paul wrote it. Because the witnesses who saw the resurrection were there. See, they could have said, uh, that's not correct. They could have said, oh, oh, it didn't happen like that. It was a falsifiable claim. Yet it was never falsified. It was never. Nobody falsified it. So, the Bible is a reliable collection of historical documents by eyewitnesses during the lifetime of other eyewitnesses.